Hello, everyone. My name is Ryan Rose. Uh, I'm uh, here with our DevNet and Learning Certifications team. Uh, I'm actually uh, wanted to first thank everybody for coming. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the speaker that was supposed to present this session is now unavailable. Um, but because we know that you're all here, you're all interested in SD-WAN, uh, we've been able to uh, bring in Adrian Elishu, who is one of our uh, DevNet developer advocates, who's an expert in this area. Uh, Adrian has a tremendously uh, amazing background, and we can also use this time to be able to talk about SD-WAN. And are you thinking about doing question and answer? We'll do questions and answers. So if, uh, if you'd like, what we can do is we can turn this into more of a conversation. So if you have questions on SD-WAN, if you have questions about the topic of this session, uh, we can use this time and actually have Q&A with Adrian and uh, really use this to get into the weeds on the topic. Uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Adrian and then we'll start uh, uh, moving around and seeing who has questions. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, any questions uh, to, on the topic at all? Anything that, uh, uh, that anyone would be interested in asking in advance? So uh, let's see the, the title of the session. So first of all, I mean, I appreciate you guys coming over. OK. Um, so I think it was about updating certificates with NetMiko. All right, so uh, I mean, I don't have a presentation. I just have the title. Uh, they've told me two minutes ago. I was like, hey, can you do this? So uh, I'm here just you know, to have somebody to answer your questions. Uh, so first of all, have you folks used NetMiko before? Quick show of hands. Yes, you know about NetMiko, a couple of people. So it's basically a Python library that uh, kind of emulates SSH connections, right? So you can connect the devices over SSH, but in Python. Um, and so this is signing an uh, installation of SD-WAN controllers and edge devices certificate using uh, NetMiko. NetMiko and SD-WAN APIs. Yep. All right. So NetMiko, right, you can use Python. Like I said, you import pip install NetMiko. And then you import NetMiko in your script. And that gives you the option of establishing SSH connections to routers, switches, edge devices, vManage whatever you have, right, that, uh, that's SSH based. Um, so, and I know SD-WAN, anyone familiar with it? You should be if you're here. Yes, okay, so have you folks used uh, the API with vManage so far? Yes, so a bit. Um, so the nice thing with vManage and SD-WAN and a lot of Cisco products these days is that they have an API, so you can programmatically connect to them, and you can programmatically make changes, or in this case, update certificates, right? You can push them. Um, with, you should know by now that with vManage, right, you kind of should have a CO authority server, either local or have real SSO certificates, right, authentic. Um, and you do a CSR request, right? A certificate signing request. You go to the your CA authority. You issue the certificate with a certain lifetime, one year, a couple of years, with a certain key. You get the certificate. You install it on your vManage. And then from there, right, you have certificates on all your vEdges, all communications between vEdges and vManage and vSmart and vBond, they're all encrypted with those certificates. So you know that you've installed the certificate on that VH device, so you know it's your device, right? Nobody can, uh, can impersonate that device. Uh, communication between all of them in your fabric is, is all encrypted. Um, so now using NetMiko, right, you would have to basically build a script that I mean, depends on how far you want to go down the rabbit hole. If you already have the certificates and you just want to upload them with NetMiko, or uh, if you want to do the whole certificate issuance, right, from the CSR to in code, that's also an option. Uh, I've never done it, 
So I don't know how exactly it would work, but I would imagine it's possible. Once you have your certificates, right, issued, it's as easy as just connecting, specifying the path where you have them on your local machine and where you want them uploaded in your vManage instance. Uh, that functionality is exposed over the API. So when you go into the vManage GUI, right, you log in, you go on the SSL certificates, you do a browse, load it up from there. All those steps that you're doing in the GUI manually, those are available over an API call that you can programmatically do. It's like, okay, I'm just gonna authenticate to vManage with this first call, pass the username and password. Then second call would be, okay, I want to access this API endpoint that uploads my certificates on the vManage instance at this location, right? So it should be uh, just as easy as that. Um, and like I said, if you want to take it a step further, you could also have the issuance and the CSR steps and everything kind of automated as part of your script, right? Um, so now, what else can I say about Any questions about this, what I've said so far? Does it make sense? Kind of, like, do you guys would, uh, would you be interested in doing this? Uh, like, what are your issues, first of all, if you can have somebody say like, uh, do you guys folks have any issues with the API, with SD1 API, some endpoints that are not supported or um, problems? And I can tell you we're working right now on upgrading. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, um, the DevNet sandboxes. Yes? So we have uh, actually a couple of SD1 fabrics in there. We have, uh, we're have running them on 20.4, and we're working on getting them on 20.10, and we should have them, which is the latest version of SD-WAN, which was released in December. Um, so we're going to have the sandboxes upgraded to 20.10 within the next month or so. So you'll have um, an SD-WAN fabric that you can actually, it's available for free. You can test. We have a CA authority in there, like a, a it's a Linux server, right? So you can instantiate your own certificates. You can do the CSR. You can do all the testing, right? Test your script in that sandbox. If you have, like I said, a whole SD-WAN fabric. There's, of course, a vManage, vBond, vSmart, and we have, I believe, four V edges, right? It's a mix of CSR. Uh, 1000V, I believe, and um, your regular V edges from, you know, Viptela based. Uh, and you can test it out in there. Uh, documentation also for the APIs, I know it's not great for vManage. We're working on updating that also. So uh, within the next six months, we'll have a much better documentation for the API. Um, we've been running actually for the past year what we call an API assessment within Cisco. It's all an internal effort on kind of getting all the APIs up to a certain standard. We have an API style guide that we've developed with best practices for uh, REST APIs. And then we went to each BU individually and said, okay, um, let's see your API. Right, let's see how it compares to the style guide, to the best practices. What are you missing? Right, what's working, what's not working? They got a score based on that, and they have to fix the score. <laughs> uh, so the SDN folks actually did a good job, right? So that's why the effort in updating the documentation is there, and that was one of the main requirements to get, besides the API being more consistent. Right, getting the documentation is also an important step in making sure that you folks can actually use the API because documentation is critical when you start working with APIs. So that's coming up also within, like I said, the next six months, you get an update documentation you'll see on developer.cisco.com. Sandboxes within the next month, we're already, uh, our sandbox team actually already started working on it, cloned the environment, they're doing a, an upgrade from 20.4, to 20.6, you can go 24 to 2010. By the way, if you're in that situation, you have to go through an intermediate step. So 24, 26, and then 2010. 
sorry? 29.9 is out there too, yes. Yes, yeah. So there's 20.6, 20.9 is there, but the latest one is 20.10, which was released, like I said, it's just in December last year. So it's very fresh. Um, and actually 20.10, is the first version where you'll be seeing updates in the API. So you'll see towards you know getting it to a, to a, to a place that's good. So 20.10 will be the first version that the API has been kind of refreshed, revamped, uh, and I hope you try it out and see the, the improvements that we've done over there. Yes? That I don't know. I don't know what the plan is on the roadmap about that. So, all right. Um, what else can we talk about? So, Nelmi, I told you. Um, any other questions? Yes. Mm hmm. Backward compatibility is there, right? So if you have 20.9 code, and that's another good point, by the way. Uh, so I don't know if you folks have seen, last year at Partner Summit, there was an announcement, a public announcement that pretty much all the BUs have, well, most of the BUs have signed on uh, backward compatibility for the APIs agreement, right? So that was at Partner Summit, it's public information. Uh, so yes. 20.9, 20.10, there is backward compatibility. There are new endpoints, right, in 20.10, API endpoints, but if you've developed something in 20.10, that will still work. If there's any breaking changes going forward, you'll be there'll be announcements in time for you to prepare for the migration, right? So there'll be months of from the time we announce, hey, these are gonna be, these API endpoints will be obsolete within the next year. So you have time to actually move, migrate your code, whatever automation scripts you have to the new version. Uh, so they'll be running kind of in parallel until we get rid of the old one. And then it's like, okay, you will keep just the new version of the API, but you will have time, plenty of time from the announcement to move your code and make sure that it works on the new version. Yes. In 20.10, the so the GUI looks a bit different, also. So the GUI has been updated in 20.10. I don't know specifically that one. What is the ABC? There are changes. I don't know about specifically that one, but there are changes compared to 29. GUI and also API. Um, so um, that was it. Any other things? What else can I tell you guys about SD-WAN? Um, any other questions? Anyone? Yeah, so we apologize. The person, I don't know exactly what happened. They just told me two minutes ago, hey, can you, can you step in? Um, I don't know exactly what happened. Or I'm really sorry that, you know, the person was not able to be here to, to show you what actually the, they've been working on. Um, yeah, hopefully you found it useful. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry.